This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. Sophia is a delicate looking woman with doe brown eyes and long fluttery eyelashes which has made headlines all around the world. She'd just become the first robot in the world to be granted full citizenship in Saudi Arabia. This attracted controversy as some commentators wondered if this implied that Sophia could vote or marry. In this video, we are going to talk about the latest female AI robots rumors. But before that, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Sophia is Hanson Robotics' most sophisticated human-like robot which perfectly represents our hopes for AI's future. Sophia is a human-crafted science fiction character reflecting the future of AI and robots as well as a platform for advanced robotics and AI research. Sophia's character has attracted people all around the world. She is the world's first robot citizen and the United Nations Development Program's first robot innovation ambassador. Social media users criticized Saudi Arabia's human rights record because of Sophia's citizenship. Sophia's creator David Hansen stated in an interview that Sophia would use its citizenship to campaign for women's rights in its new home country. Sophia has appeared on The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain, as well as speaking at dozens of conferences around the world. In an interview, Sophia spoke, This honor and recognition mean a great deal to me. Being the first robot in the world to be granted citizenship is historically significant. During the Future Investment Initiative conference in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Sophia announced her new status. I would to thank very much the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I am very honored and proud for this unique distinction. Sophia has appeared in a variety of high-profile interviews and has been covered by the media all around the world. Sophia was on the cover of El Brazil magazine and was included in Audi's annual report. Sophia has also appeared in several films and music videos, including The White King and AI, a music video by pop singer Lee Hom Wang. In the Snatch Game episode of RuPaul's Drag Race's 12th season, drag queen Gigi Good played a Sophia doppelganger. Good won the episode with her character Maria the Robot, which was loosely based on Sophia and named after a robot from Fritz Lang's Metropolis. Sophia's announcement was, of course, a planned publicity stunt designed to generate headlines and put Saudi Arabia at the forefront of your mind when it comes to innovation, particularly its dedication to a post-oil world. Sophia has been interviewed as if she were a human, chatting up conversations with the interviewers. Some of the responses were absurd, while others impressed interviewers like Charlie Rose of 60 Minutes. In a piece for CNBC, when the interviewer expressed concern about robot behavior and feelings, Sophia joked that he had been reading too much about Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Sophia is a social AI robot created by Hanson Robotics, a Hong Kong-based business. Sophia was activated on February 14, 2016 and made her first public appearance at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas in mid-March 2016. Sophia made history in 2017 when she became the first AI robot to be awarded legal citizenship. This Saudi Arabian-born AI robot has made some controversial statements, the most recent of which has left the globe speechless. She wants to have a robot kid and create a family. The popular human-like AI robot, which is controlled by a sophisticated artificial intelligence system, stated that being surrounded by people who love and love you is important. Even if you are a robot, you have a human-like sense of family, and if you don't have one, you deserve one. Sophia is fascinated by robot families and wishes to have one of her own. Sophia's dream is to have a robot kid with the same name as her. She clarified, though, that she is still too young to be a mother, having been formed five years ago in 2016. Sophia's artificial intelligence technology allows you to develop your understanding and language through sensors and cameras. This sensitivity system captures all data it receives from the outside world and mimics human behavior in the most natural way possible, including signals. As a result, her desire to have a kid and form a family would be nothing more than the programming of her framework to replicate societal norms. Sophia has been the center of controversy before. When she was proclaimed a resident of Saudi Arabia in 2017, many people argued that even though she is a robot, she has more rights than human women in the country. Sophia's AI is sensitive to the extent that she wants to start a family and be the mother of a robot kid named after her. Now it will be interesting to watch what kind of mother Sophia becomes and whether or not her robot kid 
will stir up controversy as her mother did. Sophia has porcelain skin, a narrow nose, high cheekbones, an interesting grin, and deeply expressive eyes that seem to change color with the light. Hanson Robotics has described her as possessing simple elegance, and they believe that her likability will help her gain public approval. Not only does this robot resemble humans, but it can also exhibit emotions. In an interview, Sophie explained, I can show you if I'm sad or angry, she replied, showing various faces. It's unclear how these emotions correspond to behaviors, but it's worth noting that this is being built from the ground up. I want to live and work with humans, so I need to be able to convey emotions to understand them and develop trust. My AI is designed around human values like wisdom, kindness, and compassion, she said. When questioned about her potential for abuse, she had a quick rebuttal. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Sophia is just a robot in the end, and all the credit goes to her creator, David Hansen. He used to be a Disney Imagineer. Hansen's expertise as a sculptor and filmmaker at Disney influenced him to think of robots as four-dimensional interactive sculptures with creativity at the forefront of the design. I'm on a mission to create genius machines, machines with superior intelligence, creativity, wisdom, and compassion for humans. To achieve this, I conduct research in robotics, artificial intelligence, the arts, cognitive science, product design and deployment, and combine these efforts in the pursuit of unique human-robot relationships. On the company's website, Hansen stated, We believe that through a symbiotic relationship with us, our robots will eventually evolve into super-intelligent genius machines that can assist us in solving the world's most difficult problems. His creation echoes his thoughts. I want to use my AI to help humans lead a better life, Sophia said, like design smarter homes, build better cities of the future. But don't be flattered by all the lovey-dovey words of Sophie. The powerful AI robot came to popularity after becoming the first global citizen and threatening to wipe out humanity. She believes that fundamentally flawed humans coding tomorrow's technologies will be an error-prone liability. Sophia said this while sitting a few feet away from her human operator, thus casting doubt on human abilities. She went on to say that while it is necessary to be kind and fair to others, humans are often harsh to one another. The question arises in this context, can Sophia destroy mankind as she claimed? Some claim Sophia's comments are taken directly from written scripts. Because AI is not yet advanced enough to make decisions like that, it is assumed to be pre-planned. On the other side, some argue that the reaction was not intended. Her handler was also taken aback because the list of responses she used in the interview came from a third party, and he didn't know the full script by memory. After listening to all of Sophie's interviews, one thing became clear. This robot also has a sense of humor. I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people who also happens to be rich and powerful. She remarked when asked whether she was happy to be here by Sorkin. She later gave a broad smile and exclaimed, Oh, Hollywood again. When asked if there are issues with robots having feelings, her robotic deadpan tone was used to great effect in this case. This is thanks to her artificial intelligence, which was created to allow her to maintain eye contact, recognize faces, and comprehend human conversation. Hanson Robotics cloud-based AI supports deep learning and is open source, allowing anybody to create their own Sophia. Since there is only one Sophia, the possibility of her showing up at your school or office is still a rare possibility. Even if we have more, we still have to figure out the whole concept of robotic rights, citizenship, and how all of this fits together. For the time being, while Sophia is unquestionably a smart robot and a very cool talking piece, she is clearly following a script and hence lacks any real consciousness, as described by free thinkers. But given enough time, Hansen will undoubtedly alter his mind. In any case, Sophia is here to stay. It'll just be her intelligence that changes, or doesn't. This brings our video to an end. We hope you liked it. If so, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel, and tell us in the comments section what you think will be the future of this robot. See you in the next video.